Speaker, it is uh, now 6.06, .06, select board meeting on uh, September 7th. And first on the agenda is to look at the trees, discuss the trees and the uh, <coughs> possible amendments to the soil to help them. And also talk about some of the ones that need some definite maintenance in terms of clearing a lot of brush. <clears throat> so we have the trees, and then one of the issues is uh, well. So for the maple trees, um, and, and actually in terms of the soil, uh, phosphorus level, levels were pretty much optimum, and then potassium and magnesium were high or excessive. Um, for the maple trees, Well, actually, for all of them, whether they're the maple trees or the, the conifers over here, um, it's set pretty much uh, at small amounts of a high nitrogen, low phosphorus fertilizer, such as 621, 734, uh, or 2 to 3 pounds per 100 square feet of alfalfa meal, or whatever your local supplier recommends. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to do alfalfa meal. I don't think so. Um, so, um, yeah, and that would be that. That's pretty much the recommendation. Can we do that in the fall, or do we have to wait till spring? Yeah, you wait till spring. Yeah. Okay. So something we can budget for next year. Yeah. yeah. Throw a little extra money in for the yeah. 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 Well, no, there's actually some folks in town that are are willing to help the right. volunteer to do it. Yeah, we still got to buy the. Oh yeah, we still got to buy the product. I mean, right? certainly, I, I don't. A lot. I, you know, we can price out everything. Yeah. You know, wh why not? Yeah, sure. You know, I assume it's a, a matter of whether we do inorganic or organic. So. Right. <clears throat> okay. So that was one of the items. That would okay. be good. Do you so do you want to take yeah. a look at, might as well look at the trees. that were over there uh, for a long, long time. Right. right. And uh, <coughs> so they were planned from over here. So that is, that is a lot of potential. So that's something I would think the guys should work on now. Okay. Well, I guess if we had a landscape for some of this, then we should. Yeah, sure. They didn't come up with an excavator and clean that right off in uh, three hours. They just clean that right up. That's the chainsaw. How far back behind do we go there? Just where those are? Is that pretty much the property line? That's pretty close. And she goes right. in a little bit over yeah, there. Yeah, it's probably a little bit over there. Where's your house right from the hill? He's driving down and back into the hill. If you chase mountains, then you'll feel right there. Oh, then you are right by my house. Yeah, I think we have to look at that. But it was on the dirt. What was that, right? So we have a, uh, there's a ditch line through here. Oh, okay. So pretty much just that one side. And yeah. 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 
leave the trees, the good trees, but take all the sumac and Trim these or anything, right? No. No, kind of like <laughs> Arborvitae probably should have been planted right from the start. But, so, does it come to a point where you end up taking the the the, the use down to keep the arborvitae going? Too crowded? No, they're not going to be too crowded. No, no. The book is good. Oh well, they still make a nice sound barrier. Yeah, they, they'll be, yeah, you know, good. it's a great barrier. I mean, because the bottom line, what will happen is eventually the other divide are going to grow out this way, and the ewes are going to grow out the, you know, all, on all sides the other way. And they'll get taller too, right? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. yeah the other variety will definitely be the, the taller of the, of the two. Okay. Yeah, they, they really look a lot better than me. So when I walked this in March, you literally just took a stroll around. Yeah. And so that was one of there's no particular order of, of stuff that you know Martin and I and, and then Craig somewhat you know just saw reviewed like maintaining access for the triatux fire trucks to fill for a fire mm -hmm. because what happens is it's become a public you'll see he's now put up a lot of more parking signs mm -hmm. because people come down here and park to so access the river right so i don't know in the long run if for some we can make some plan where let's walk over that yeah, yeah. Good. and then as we walk along there the other stuff we we, we saw where there was just review some materials along the river and you know some cleaning up this so like an old basketball hoop and some rubber mats and culverts and I mean it's actually like looks like the team's worked on it a bit this summer but um you yeah, know you get a really hot day and these guys are trying to do their work and you get cars that's why he's got the signs up they're, all, they're doing stuff and they got cars in their way right so you know, I don't know if the reason I had the guy Craig come was because being that he's a designer, that maybe someday we could look at it for if there was another way to do some layout here or mm -hmm. you know, optimize the property a little bit bit differently and be able to have a little figure out a little better parking thing or or how we keep people from being in here, or you know, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. brainstorming with you folks. Just to, it's kind of like an accident, ready to, you know, waiting to happen. Yeah, it, it's been a problem, it's, you know, for a long time. Yeah. But I mean, also people have been doing this for years. I agree. So. I understand. <clears throat> but it would be nice to make it nice, but I yeah. don't know if that's possible. Yeah. So I was just. That's why we we're doing the walkthrough, and then maybe over the winter when we're not thinking about swimming and stuff, we can, you know, talk about it a little bit. Right. So, 
Um, you know, and then there's like that oil tank there. I don't know what, what happened with that. I can't remember what happened with that during Irene. I mean, can't, can we have that there, so close to the river? Does anybody remember? Fuel oil? Okay, fuel. Alright, I didn't mean oil, fuel. That's where they get all their gas. They could have chopped that container around it. I don't know if that got washed. I don't recall that being washed away. No. Well, this was certainly flooded here, though, of course, you know. Yeah. No, I don't know. I was just, let's carry on, because I know we have to get back to the office. I was just... So then, you know, you got one of the things with river access, parking, right of way, neighbors, parking in the stand pit, blocking access, camp, tank location, location of the storage box. Did, did that happen? That, I don't know where that, did we ever do that? Where is that storage box? Did that happen? Storage box? Oh, the yeah. box, oh, the, the, oh, the, oh, the oh. storage container. Did oh, I miss? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He was still getting a permit last I know. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So that didn't happen. Yeah. 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 Well, that location needed to, you know, sort of figure out where that was going to go. And then, you know, um, you know, there's some different things here. I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a working guy. I mean, right? Yeah. No parking has helped a lot. Have you, you know, you must have heard that. that uh, it's got to be helping. I would think it would be. But I know when the fire department comes down here, what are they, are they, do they still have the right to back down there to get the water? Is that's that, yes, that's yes, still, yeah, even yes. though we don't have that, we sold right. that land, we still, we still have access, right, access yes. to the river. Yeah. But who owns that land where those cars are driven down to? So the people in that house right there, next to Ellie. Uh, and Randy and Liza's old house there, right? Yeah. They own it out to here? Yeah, they bought that piece. Right. But we have the right of way for fire and access. But not for townspeople to park it. No. What do they do? So these are town people parking here, right? Yeah, well, so, yeah, someone, yeah. And I think that is as well down there, people parking to go to the river. So uh, that's not I, a bad place to park. Oh, it's no, no, in. I agree. And yeah. park right there. Yeah. I but think Martin I, I, the probably question, live with that. You know? Martin was wondering if the, when they park on this road on a hot day, what that does, God forbid, the fire department needs to get access so, to the no, river. No, they can't block the road. Yeah, so maybe we have to block say fire, road. fire, you know, maybe there needs to be something to tell people that. Not block road. You, you know, fire, road. fire access. Or something. I don't know. I mean, how many cars can be in a park? More than four? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen uh, that. And this, uh, he must have just, these signs just had just went up a couple of weeks ago because I hadn't seen them before. And I would come by here cycling and... I'd see cars parked down in there, you know, because there's right. a good way to walk down into yeah. the river there. Huh. So, but now I, I'm sure the signs have helped. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I like, can't, hey, no parking. Hello? <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, that was just another item identified as something that, you know, maybe needs to be addressed just to keep the fire access. You know, again, it's never been an issue, but who knows? I mean, right. If it ever was, would right. it wouldn't be. And then whether you know we wanted to someday, I don't know, take all these little pieces and see if there was some, I don't know, if there's some way to. I'm not a just landscape designer, but if there was a way of it to make it so that this was maybe more public and then the sand pit was on the other side of maybe a fence or trees or something, you know, I don't know. I think it's John. here. Underneath that grass, it's yeah. all blocked. It's blocked. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, then there's obviously there's the space needed for all this equipment. 
so. Um, anyway. Just something to get our eyes on, you know. Yeah, it's like going down. I was the under the impression that anything that they're not using, they've gotten rid of. Isn't that what you I don't see much here that they're not using. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I mean, they used to have a lot of. Obviously, we have more plows than we have trucks here. Yeah. I think, well, I think Martin well, told me this. And it's a couple of old plows and a basketball hoop. Yeah. You have basketball hoop. Oh, my hoop. basketball hoop. It's still right over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. we could set that up down here and start shooting some hoop. Yeah. Yeah, step into that one. <laughs> they brought it here. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I just. I appreciate that you took the time to come here. And, yeah. you know, it's just something to think about for oh, I think it's, future, yeah, it's a good idea. Future time and people in our community, and other than just dealing with the same old stuff we deal with all the time. You know? yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. No, no, it's, it's definitely good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, just, yeah, if there's a way we could, you know, engage Martin and the crew. And, Talking, you know, they're the ones who live with I, the I, people coming here. Yeah. I'd say, I mean, I, w I would I, I definitely, definitely have a concern with people going down there mm -hmm. because we already had a complaint about that, and uh, <clears throat> so well, we, all, we should definitely address I mean, that. Yeah, maybe another sign. Yeah. yeah. This we're, all, we're all sick of signs, but yeah. unfortunately, it's, it's something you need. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't know that we still think that that's town land. Or yeah. They probably do. Yep. I saw it saying this is uh, accesses for fire department use only. And maybe we consider planting some different trees this along here because the maples are along with those maples. Yeah. You know, another way of blocking it a little bit, but I don't know if we're up for it. I know I did I suggested something for Abbott. Well, landscape architect is going to have some, let's see, what is the DRV? Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, they took our plan and they ripped it up and they did something up. And, you know, definitely it's not what we were doing. Now, always think you have it on our radar. And, uh, that uh, Craig, the landscape designer, is willing to volunteer his time, so we'll, yeah. you never know. Well, I would say, you know, if he's willing to volunteer his time, he should, he should, uh, I'll get, I'll get back to draw so, yeah. Yeah, no, this, you know, it's great, I can see that we've got Oh, there's a storage there. container over there, too, by the way. Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. What did you say? Yeah, you can see these, these views here do not look as healthy as the ones over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what the report says, these maples are, it's a little different. Than the the soil here. So you know, when I talked so to Mike Brown, you know, the forestry guy, Mike Brown, was, yeah, yeah. he was saying it's because of the the soils and what the maples are having to go through here. It's right. In terms very of water compacted and, yeah, soil. Very, yeah. yeah. Well, that one's dead. That one's not good. Yeah. So I mean, those branch offs are little suckers. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 What? They're doing okay. <laughs> What's that? The yeah, right. Change the color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so should we go back to now on to the... I guess so. Okay. Alright. We temporarily uh, recess until we get back to the...